All right, so let's graph the equation y equals x plus 3 here, and we're going to use a table of values to do this. You could use slope intercept form, that would work as well, and if you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. But for our table of values, we're going to put values in for x here, figure this out, and then that we have our y, we can just graph them. So let's say, I always like to start with 0 for x. 7 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. I could put 1 in for x, so if we had 7 times 1, that's 7 plus 3, that gives us 10, but that's going to be off the graph, so I kind of don't want to do that. How about negative 1? 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Negative 7 plus 3 gives us a negative 4. So I'm just making these values up, but I'm trying to make it so that the resulting point will be on the graph for y equals 7x plus 3. Why don't we do, if we do negative 2, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 plus 3, that's negative 11. So it kind of looks like for this one I'm going to have to go off the graph, but we can live with that. Let's try it. We'll graph these here now. So x is 0, y is 3, x is negative 1, y is negative 4, and then we have x is negative 2 and y is negative 9, 10, 11, way down here. You can see it lines up, and we could put a line through this, put some arrows, show that this goes to infinity here. That is the graph for y equals 7x plus 3. You could extend your graph paper here, that might work. But either way, this is the line, and if we put any value in for x here, calculate it, and get y, it's going to be on this line. That's it. This is Dr. B graphing y equals 7x plus 3. Thanks for watching.